former President Donald Trump calls the African American male district attorney an animal for following the law. And other Republicans are now calling for the indictment of the DA in Manhattan for what? For following the law. Let's dig into it. Let's put up the post, the full mass. There it is. Donald Trump said, and I quote, why won't Bragg, talking about DA Bragg out of Manhattan, drop this case? Everybody says there is no crime here. I did nothing wrong. It was all made up by a convicted nut job. Did not know that was a crime to be a nut job, but obviously a convicted nut job with zero credibility who has been disputed by highly respected professionals at every turn. Bragg refuses to stop despite overwhelming evidence. To the contrary, he is a Soros backed animal who just doesn't care about right or wrong, no matter how many people are hurt. This is no legal system. This is the Gestapo. This is Russia and China, but worse, disgraceful. Let me opine on the first message here from Donald Trump. Obviously, a racist trope comparing the district attorney to an animal. And then saying we have no justice system. Well, that's to give his followers freedom to trample over it, to not respect it. He said the very same thing about democracy, rule of law, the election. Same tactic, different element, there's more. He goes on to say, everybody knows I'm 100% innocent, including Bragg. But he doesn't care, he is just carrying out the plans of the radical left lunatics. Our country is being destroyed as they tell us to be peaceful, exclamation. All of the coded language, all of the dog whistle, what is this? Leading up to, it is leading to this. Donald Trump wants a standoff with the United States of America. And if you don't realize that's what's happening, you are a fool. Trump is going to burn the whole damn thing down if you let him get power again. McConnell knows this, he said it during an interview. But McConnell failed to mention, you gave the man the matches and the gasoline, we did not. We told you not to give him power. We told you to keep him away from actual power. You refused to listen. You created the Frankenstein monster and now you're acting as if this is not your design. I'm talking to, I'm talking to the mainstream Republicans who are acting so offended by the activity of Donald Trump. Trump is your creation. Senator Rand Paul, what do you think he said? He ripped into the Manhattan DA, Alvin Bragg, on Tuesday over his handling of the criminal investigation into Donald Trump that might lead to the former president being indicted. A Trump indictment would be a disgusting abuse of power. The DA should be put in jail. Uh, Wait a minute, in jail for what? In jail for following the law? What statutory code did the DA break? Now remember, this does not come down to a singular individual. They would like to contextualize it as if DA Bragg is the only one involved in the prosecution or investigation of this case. Typically, the elected DA is not involved in any of it. They come much later. They do set direction and policy for the office. You have multiple investigators from prosecutors to actual police certified detectives who work for that office. You also have a grand jury element. Those are citizens. You see, while the elected official is absolutely in charge of the office, there are many moving parts. These moving parts all are moving in the same direction. There's more. Paul is the latest Republican to accuse Bragg of leading a politically motivated investigation into the 76 year old former president, who is accusing, who is accused, excuse me, of directing $130,000 of hush money to porn star Stormy Daniels, this was in 2016. In exchange for her silence in the alleged 
2006 affair. House Judiciary Chairman Jim Jordan out of Ohio, a Republican of course, and Oversight Chairman James Comer, another Republican, Kentucky, wrote to the Democratic Manhattan DA on Monday, calling his plans to charge Trump an unprecedented abuse of prosecutorial authority. The two lawmakers stopped short of Paul's demand that Bragg be jailed, but asked the prosecutor to hand over documents and testify about what plainly appears to be a politically motivated prosecution of the ex commander in chief. Are there political elements involved in the prosecution of Donald Trump? Yes. Does it mean that Donald Trump did not break the law? It's not what it means. Donald Trump broke the law, broke the law in many ways. There are multiple investigations. I believe there's actually already an indictment under seal. Why is it that individuals who would typically proclaim that everyone needs to be responsible for their own action, especially when they wax poetic about poor black youth and how they are responsible for their own activity? This world is what you make it. You gotta pull yourself up by your bootstrap. What happened to that crowd as it relates to the responsibility factor of Donald Trump himself? It is as if they changed their ethical and moral compass in order to never judge him adversely. All right, Ben, thoughts on this whole saga? It does seem like it's that case that you just laid out there at the end, Doc. It's because they are hypocrites of the highest order and spineless jellyfish that are afraid yeah. of an orange man <laughs> that is in charge for some reason of their souls, their minds, their bodies, their everything. That seems to be the case for damn near 50% of the country. Uh, Ron Paul must be so disappointed in Rand Paul. Yeah. Ron Paul's campaign slogan being love and Rand Paul defending this hateful monster at every turn over and over again. and. It's barely coded language anymore that Trump's using. He's not the most artful code maker of all. I right. don't need the best code breakers to figure out what he means by they're destroying our country as they tell us to be peaceful. They're destroying the country, but they want us to be peaceful, wink, wink. I mean, it's clear as day. It's just like when he was holding a press conference when he was in office just a month or two before the the transition of power and was asked, do you promise a peaceful transfer of power? Oh, just the very basic, the very minimum our country always has 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 assured and delivered. And he literally said, I don't promise that at all, we'll have to wait and see. We'll mm -hmm. have to wait and see and then unleash an insurrection on his own government, on our own country. And luckily, luckily, it just seems that at least the fervor is waning. When he calls for protesting last Tuesday and 50 people show up and pretend it was supposed to be more and pretend also they were vetting people so that there wouldn't be more and the excuses start raining in. Surely if he does indeed get arrested, the numbers will be bigger, but it's just good to be able to point out the idiots and yeah. learn who we need to discredit their opinions when it comes to the public square. Yeah, there you go. The numbers are definitely smaller this go round for Donald Trump.